What's up guys, it's Enzyme here. Hey, I'll explain to you guys how to boost your FPS and fix your stutter in Battlefield 6 as quick as I can. First, go to your Steam, select game, properties, launch options, put dash high. Close. And if you have the game on EA, go to your game, manage, view properties, same here, dash high. Here you have to save and then close. Next up, we want to turn off any steam overlay or recording thing broadcasting everything can be found here so game recording manage recording off then broadcast off 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 you don't need these they just take up your performance next up go to the install folder which can be found in uh, properties then install files then browse same with ea this can be easily found in game properties right click the game exe then properties, compatibility, and then disable full screen optimization. Apply, okay. Then in the same folder, create a file named user.cfg, meaning user config. Then just uh, edit the file type in the end. Then type render device dot render ahead limit two to four. This is uh, preference. Uh, 4 is more pre-rendered frames, 2 is less, 2 is more responsive, and 4 is smoother. So tweak this, see what's best for your system. After that, we're going to go to the Documents, Battlefield 6, Settings, and we want to tweak the profsave underscore profile. Make a copy of this, save it as a backup, and then edit the original file. So if something goes wrong, you can always use that last file as a backup. So the reason I have this changed this bridge test document is that I can make the ones that you need to change bold, so it's not that hard to find. So change GST render weapon off to zero, then screen space <laughs> reflections to zero. What a mouthful. Scroll up, then enlighten zero, and DX12 enabled one. Then save and make sure it's the original file that you're changing, not your backup. And make sure you don't have any file prefix there, because otherwise it's not going to apply. Next up, press Windows key plus I, uh, then go to system, and then from display or graphics settings, whichever is easier to find, make sure you have hardware accelerated GPU scheduling on, because this is a tip by EA specifically, at least to the beta. After that, click Windows plus R, then type msconfig.exe, go to boot, advanced options, then click number of processors and select the maximum you have, then click OK. Then disable all services and startup programs that you are not using, that you're not familiar with, that you know that are bloat to your Windows. For example, here I have some Google Chrome update shit that I don't even use. <laughs> so make sure you have all of those disabled. Uh, same with here, startup, open task manager. You'll have all the programs that start up as your PC starts up. You can disable all of these that you don't use. If you're not sure, check what it is first, then see if you want to disable it. This is just bloat, basically. Your PC can start up without this, but all of this accumulates up as you use your computer. Then close it. After you've clicked apply, okay, it suggests that you restart your computer. Not just yet. We're going to optimize our page file settings. Uh, basically the virtual memory of your PC. So if you have plus 16 gigabytes of RAM, 16 or more, then go to advanced system settings. You can go from here, navigating, or just type in here, advanced. So it's going to give you that. Then click settings. From here, advanced, you're going to find the virtual memory. Click change. And then in the drive that you have your Windows operating system, change the page file size to this 4096 megabytes for both initial and max then click set and okay after all this is done just click okay okay then lastly before restart uh type gaming in the search or game 
make sure game mode is on and then Xbox game bar or game bar is off because this is throttling your performance as well. But now restart. Do not shut down restart. <laughs> and after you've successfully restarted, put it up to Windows, restart again and enter BIOS. From here, we're going to put XMP on. This is basically going to unlock your RAM performance and EA recommends 3200 megahertz. So put that or the max that your system can handle. And then from CPU management, turn off all power saving modes and C states and speed steps and put on every <laughs> turbo and performance modes. <laughs> of course, this means that you have to have sufficient cooling. So if you are running some stock cooler, don't do this. Your PC is going to heat up. And then very quickly about boot. Fast boot should be off. Then uh, you should have the secure boot on. UAFI only, driver first, secure boot on with uh, Windows UAFI mode on. This is basically the only way you can launch up uh, Battlefield 6 open beta. Talking of which, all settings should be either off or low. <laughs> Quite straightforward except a few exceptions. So graphics, put everything to custom so you can customize everything individually. Sharpness, I like to keep about three fourths of the way. And then field of view, this is preference. And then uh, motion blur, everything to minimum, then chromatic, vignette, film grain, off. Then normally play full screen. It gets you the best performance, but use borderless if you alt tab a lot. Because I do, I'm gonna leave it at that. Vertical sync, leave off. And then that's all from this menu. Then go to graphics, custom settings, modify. Here, put everything to low and off. But here you can very conveniently see, I think this is quite unique now for this battlefield. You can see how each of these settings affect the performance. So some of these I've set to high or medium because quality, not performance but also because they affect the system so little uh, for what they bring. But either way, go to graphics, advanced settings, then this is huge. We have a resolution scale slider. Put this to 90, frame rate limiter on, then frame rate limit 90, DRS off, low latency enabled and boost, anti-aliasing off, and upscaling technique off, but FSR is for quality and XESS is for performance. FSR frame generation, basically AI frames, I keep off. Experiment if that's good for you. Future frame rendering, this is important to keep on. And these last steps are basically some that if the previews didn't work. <laughs> so first off, we're gonna clean up the PF6 shader cache, which is in a local disk users U app data. Go to local and then Battlefield 6 folder, which for beta is this. Clean the cache folder completely, delete everything. And then do the same for the temporary folder in local. Find the Battlefield 6 folder there. Uh, you should be able to find it uh, by sorting out the name and then just going to B. And then uh, delete the folder's whole content. Uh, this is just temporary files which can be deleted because they might be the reason that your game is stuttering. But the thing is, this tip can be an oversight. At least for me it was. I know my PC. I know how it works. I still forgot to update my drivers. <laughs> so GPU drivers, keep them up to date. Just go to your GPU, like NVIDIA or AMD app, and then update your GPU drivers from there. Shouldn't be too advanced. You know what you're doing. And the last tip is Windows disk cleanup. Do this with CCleaner, do this with uh, Disk Cleanup, uh, the built-in for Windows. Do it for both your Windows drive and the drive that you have Battlefield 6 installed on. Delete all temporary and cache files and everything like this, because they can also be bloating your system, giving dead ends, just capping the whole drive so it runs slowly. But that's it for the tips and tricks and fixes. <laughs> I wanted to prove you guys that you can run this game even with very low graphics and still perform well. So I tested the game with both crisp high graphics and also absolutely potato scuffed 
cursed graphics. So I have my resolution scale at 125, meaning it's kind of fourth uh, upscaled, meaming I don't need uh, anti-aliasing because it's done by super sampling. And um, then I'll play with uh, 50 resolution scale with, with uh, anti-aliasing. So you'll see that it doesn't really matter. Your 3D spots are there. If you scope in, uh, the scope is rendered at reasonable <laughs> uh, rate, so you'll, you'll find enemies. Let's put it like that. You only need to reduce your resolution scale and put everything to low in order to run this with the potato, because this is actually very well optimized, in my opinion. At beta, running better than 2042 right now, I think that's an achievement. But yeah, here's the gameplay. There. Yes, I didn't see him at all. <laughs> Sweet spot, I think. I think I'll put everything to low now. So, uh, graphics, I'll put uh, resolution scale to 50 and uh, 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 anti aliasing yeah, to FSR native. Hello. Shoot. Peek. Come on. There we go. Dang it. Come on. <laughs> How did that hit? I'll take it. Nice. Oh, oh wait, this this guy. <laughs> I'm doing better with low graphics. There we go. That's why you want to hit people. Uh, like it doesn't matter if you hit mark. You'll still uh, like make them spotted. This is very nice. I like that. Oh, don't you try to. Uh, I'm literally, arguably, doing better with low graphics. Can't hit shit now. running. I like this. Beacon there. <laughs> Trying to come. Oh, okay. <laughs> come on, stop. There we go. Oh man, this is going to be easy. No way he expects. That was four. <laughs> oh, he blew up his own tank. He must be so confused. <laughs> well, I think that's enough. Um, well, you can see that with low graphics. You just still play the game like it's the battlefield that's back. Oh, easy.